Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Nothing says successful TV series more than the classic Western series of Gunsmoke. It was an American radio and television Western that was created by director Norman MacDonald and writer John Meston. The storyline centers on Dodge City, Kansas in the 1870s during the settlement of the American West. And the central character is lawman Marshall Matt Dillon, played by William Conrad on radio and James Arness once it hit TV. The radio series ran from 1952 to 1961. And then the television series ran for 20 seasons from 1955 to 1975. And that was 635 episodes. Just a staggering amount when you're talking about series on TV. James Arness set records for the length of time that he played U.S. Marshal Matt Dillon. He was in love with this character and the show the entire time that it was on the air. But he also did recognize all the stress and hard work that went into making it. The possibility of burnout became a real possibility for this character. But this show lasted, even though it was very demanding on the cast time. James Arness went to the trouble of inserting things in his contract that specifically tried to keep him from burning out while playing Marshall Dillon. He had joined the TV series at its inception, once it was adapted from radio to television. The fans of the radio show weren't initially very happy to see William Conrad replaced, as they had become really familiar with his deep voice. Eventually, audiences would warm up to Arness's performance as the marshal, and they loved him in this role, and nobody could play it better than him. He, along with co-star Dennis Weaver's character of Chester, became the most popular characters on the show. James Arness came to rely heavily on his attorney to negotiate the contracts that he had with the show that would both benefit the actor financially and to help him avoid burnout in the series. The scripts for the show started to include labels that mention how often episodes utilize Arness as Matt Dillon. The term light Matt meant that the episode primarily focused on other actors, barely requiring Arness to be on the set. Medium Matt meant that he made more appearances and had more of an impact in the show's narrative. And the term heavy Matt was used to tip off everybody that Arness would be the central star of that week's episode of Gunsmoke. This allowed the actor the opportunity to take some time off rather than to spend all his time on the set when he wasn't required to be there. In addition to the six weeks the cast got off during the summer, this contract negotiation was key to avoiding burnout for the star. It allowed him to have much more free time than originally happened at the beginning of the series. He loved to visit beaches and travel. Arness spent an enormous amount of time during the 1960s enjoying his family because at that time he was divorced from his first wife, Virginia, and he was awarded custody of their children. He taught them how to swim, and he also taught them his favorite sport, which was surfing. When he wasn't shooting gun smoke, he was continuing to make valuable memories with his family. One of the other main focuses of the series was Miss Kitty, played by Amanda Blake. She was an extremely versatile performer and had a real understanding of how to generate chemistry on the screen. Arness and Blake were among the original Gunsmoke cast that worked on the show from its inception, and they saw personally how the series evolved over time. 
The episodes originally ran for half an hour, allowing the stories to focus on their lead characters and their hardships. But the decision was made to start making hour-long episodes, and that brought in a new era for the show. Gunsmoke had no choice but to focus less on Miss Kitty and Matt Dillon over the course of its run and to bring in more guest actors that would allow the show to explore the anthological concepts from one episode to the next. The show brought in a plethora of big names over the years. Those included Ron Howard, Ellen Burstyn, Bruce Stern, and Harrison Ford. I think it's pretty safe to say that Gunsmoke wouldn't have been Gunsmoke without Miss Kitty. She was such an integral part of the show. Plus her chemistry with Matt Dillon would keep you on the edge of your seat. It's no wonder that she was a fan favorite. With her sassy character as the owner of the Long Branch Saloon in Dodge City, she highlighted a tough western woman who ultimately had a big warm heart. She appeared in over 500 episodes of the series, which would forever make her mark in the western genre of television. But she was scared silly while filming one episode of Gunsmoke because of the guest star that she had to work with. That star was Betty Davis. Producers called her into the office to talk to her, and on the way there, she really thought that she was going to be fired. But they were calling her in to give her the surprise news that in Season 12, Episode 3, an episode called The Jailer, she would be featured and working alongside Betty Davis. This news shook her up and created an immense amount of fear in the actor. Blake said that she felt like she turned purple when she heard the news and that she could barely walk because she was so scared. It turned out that she had nothing to worry about, that Betty Davis was a pleasure to work with on the set, and they got along great, along with producing a real memorable show. This episode, just because of Miss Davis's presence, elevated the entire series to a whole new level of excellence. And in the end, despite being completely in awe of Miss Davis and the possibility of her being hard to work with on the set, all this turned out to be not true at all and a highlight of Amanda Blake's career. Take a look back at this classic Western. You can't go wrong with it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll continue to chase the classics.